What's up, everybody? It's Gauntlet X. It is March 28th, and you know what that means. It is the beautiful cosmetics update for Magic Arena. One of the biggest updates probably since they put Ravnica Allegiance on the uh, on the client. Uh, but anyways, let's just hop right into it. I'm going to show you off all of the bundles first, and then we will look at the individual card styles. Uh, I will go ahead and have an, another video with no commentary that just shows off all of the card styles um, but this one, we're just going to be going off what cards got styles, basically, and how to get all the different styles and sleeves and stuff. So, some bad news right off the start for free-to-play players. There is an Explorer bundle. This is good news for anybody who does spend money on the game every now and then, because it's a pretty good deal. $15, you get 3,500 gems and 5 card styles, th 3 or 4 of which see a lot of play, uh, negate... Shock, and Healer's Hawk. But then you have, like, Gift of Paradise. I don't think anybody's playing Gift of Paradise in Standard. Uh, and Duress sees a little bit of play. Um, but yeah, so the Explorer Bundle, it's $15. You get those card styles. The way card styles work, for those who don't know, is you purchase the card style, and then you can have all of those copies of your card in your collection. Um can look like that. So you don't have to get four different copies of the card style to make all four of them look that way. Uh, you just need one card style and then you have the option um, to use the original artwork or the new card style artwork, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, but anyways, the Explorer Bundle, you have to spend $15 to get these card styles. If you go into your collection and try to purchase these card styles alone for gems, it will tell you, sorry man, you gotta buy the bundle. So if you're a free to player, you literally cannot get a Shock style or a Healer's Hawk style or a Negate style. So that's, that's definitely some bad news right off the bat. Um, but we will move on. Uh, so there is a guild bundle for each different guild. Uh, definitely another thing that's slightly bad news, slightly good news. The good news is they are beautiful. These are some of the coolest sleeves that they have in the game at this point. Uh, each guild sleeve, I think, is beautiful in its own way, and it has a really cool effect when you hover over it. I'm sure that it works like that in-game as well. Um... But yeah, one for every guild. It comes with the avatar in the background, so if you want a Dovenbon avatar, you get one with the Azorius guild. Uh, if you want a Kaya avatar, you get one with the Orzov, and so on. Uh, but they all come with the guild's mythic rare. It comes with their guild leader, so that would be the planeswalker in the guild, and if there's not a planeswalker in the guild, it would be like Lazav or Rakdos. It also comes with the rare legendary creature for the guild, so Lavinia for Azorius, Tesa, Atrada, Div Mizzet, and so on. Comes with the guild mage for each guild, or for whichever guild that you're purchasing the bundle for. And here's the bad news: it comes with the Shockland for the guild as well. And what this means, why it's bad news, is Shocklands are a high priority card to get the styles for. If you're someone who really wants to pimp out your standard decks, standard decks tend to use a lot of Shocklands if you're playing a multicolored deck in any way. And the only way that you can get the Shocklands, the only way you can get the styles for any of these four cards, is to purchase the whole bundle. So, slightly bad news in that sense, in terms of if the only thing you want is a watery grave style. You have to spend the whole 3,000 gems and get a guild mage style, an Atrata style, a Lavinia style, or a Lazav style, and so on. So, like, odds are there'll be a lot of people who pick up the Demir Secret Bundle literally just because they want the watery grave style and the Demir sleeves, and, like, that's it. Um... And I feel like it'll be that way for multiple styles, because some of these just have cards that do not see a lot of play in Standard, or just aren't really played in the decks that use the Shockland, to be honest. Like, um, Domri doesn't see a lot of play, Nikia sees not a lot of play, the Guild Mage sees zero play, but then there's Stomping Ground, so there's definitely going to be people who buy this bundle just for Stomping Ground. So definitely bad news for those just trying to get the Shockland artwork, but otherwise they're cool bundles. Everything in there looks really pretty. Obviously, the styles are great. The avatars are fine. Uh, the sleeves are beautiful. Um, for those who don't know, buying the original 
or buying the individual card styles will cost you 400 gems for a common style, 600 gems for an uncommon style, 1000 gems for a rare style, and 1200 gems for a mythic rare style. So, as I said before, that doesn't apply to any of these because this is the only place you can get them. You just gotta spend 3000 gems, get all four. But for all of the other cards, which we will look at in a second. Um, oops, I'm looking on the wrong way. For all the other styles, you can buy them individually with gems. So the other stuff in bundles that you can't get individually are the Guildgate bundle. And this is honestly the most hype bundle for me. Uh, I would highly consider picking this up if I weren't saving all of my gems for War of the Spark. Um, but yeah, Guildgate Bundle, obviously very hype for everybody who likes their Guildgate ramp decks in Standard. Those are obviously a big thing. Uh, there's a Mana Sleeve Bundle. This only costs gold, so it's definitely accessible for free-to-play players. And uh, the other sleeves... So the prettiest sleeve for sure is the Soul Ring Sleeve, in my opinion, um, outside of the Guild Sleeves. So I think whenever I pick up a sleeve, it's going to be the Soul Ring Sleeve. Um, just because you can use it in pretty much any deck, because it's, uh, it's a colorless card, it doesn't really show off any colors or anything, so... You can use it in any deck you use, and it won't look out of place, uh, unlike if you use an Orzhov sleeve in a mono-red deck. Uh, but that would be funny, you could confuse people with that for sure. Um, and it's also really nice, and it's got the cool shimmer effect, and it is a classic card that a lot of people love, it definitely is... A card to represent if you are a Commander fan, for sure. Uh, and then, yeah, the other sleeves you can purchase individually are one for each guild. These sleeves are obviously nowhere near as cool as the ones that come in the bundle, just because you can get them alone for less gems. You can get it for only 600 gems. Uh, but if you really, really want a cool-looking uh, cool looking sleeve that represents your guild... I mean, you gotta you gotta just go for the guild bundle, right? I mean, these are insane. Anyways, last thing to show off here in this update. Uh, well, first of all, you can practice match against Sparky. I would not really recommend it. Sparky has basically the starting decks for each color, so Sparky's decks are pretty bad. It's definitely not great practice for someone who is already pretty competitive in the game, but for new players, it's fine. The other thing is they did change the tutorial system for new players, which is pretty cool. I'm not really going to go into detail about that, because probably it's not going to affect anybody who's watching this video. Um, the only thing I will say about that is there are some cards that you get through the tutorial, um, like a style for Lanawar Elves, that uh, people who have already beaten the previous tutorial will have to check their email. Uh, you will be sent a code for the card styles to put into the store. So you would go to the store, go to redeem code, you'd type in the code that you were sent in the email. So definitely check your email. Uh, I haven't received the email yet, uh, so I don't know when it's coming, but they have officially said that is how we will be getting these styles from the tutorial uh, if, we, uh, if we already completed the previous tutorial system. Anyways... If you want to look at the styles on your own, you're just going to go into your collection like usual, and then they've added this new style symbol here. Click on that, and then it will show off uh, every style in the game, including the ones that you can only get in bundles. So obviously a lot of these are very beautiful. Um, uh, an easy way to think about what's going to have styles is, does the card see a decent amount of constructed play? If so, it has a style. Um... I'm, I'm pretty sure basically every really competitive deck, like the top eight competitive decks, could be completely styled out outside of basic lands. There are no basic land styles yet. I really hope they add them because that would be great, uh, just because they obviously go into any deck. Uh, but yeah, if there's a card that, that you can think of that is really popular, odds are it's got a style. I wouldn't worry too hard about that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through here. Uh, real fast to end this video, so you can check uh, just the video here if there's something that you're looking for the style of. As I said before, 400 for commons, 600 for uncommons, 1000 for rares, 
And where's the first mythic? There it is. 1,200 for mythic rares. And all of these are quite beautiful. I won't be looking at every single one up close today, uh, but I will post a separate video. I might have a link to it that will be just looking at the card styles. So, let's go ahead and scroll on through here. So, Dauntless Bodyguard, Healer's Hawk, Hunted, Witness, Legion's Landing, Sky Marcher, Aspirant, Snubhorn, Sentry, Adanto, Vanguard, Ajani's Pride Mate, Baffling, and Bishop Soldier, Dawn of Hope, Knight of Grace, Revitalize, Seal Away, Tithe Taker, Tokatli Honor Guard, Banalish Marshal, Danitha Capuchin, Paragon, Luminous Bonds, both versions, which I heard before that you only have to buy one version, and then if it's the same artwork, it'll work on whichever set it is in. Um, but it's kind of weird that it has them listed separately here, so that makes me a little bit worried about that front, but they have said before you should only have to buy one of these Luminous Bond styles and both of them will work because it's the same artwork. The only thing that changes is the set symbol. Uh, anyways, Mentor of the Meek, Militia, Bugler, Resplendent Angel, Unbreakable Formation, Ajani, Ad Adversary of Tyrants, Conclave Tribunal, Ixalan's Binding, Leonin Warleader, Settle the Wreckage, another big one, Shalai Voice of Plenty, Cleansing Nova, Lyra Dawnbringer, Venerated Loxodon, Curious Obsession, Dive Down, Miss Cloaked Herald, I don't know why I wasn't just scrolling over them here before. Uh, again, another one with two different set symbols, which is a little weird. Opt, Siren, Storm Tamer, Spell, Pierce, Blink of an Eye, Chart of, Chart of Course, Essence Scatter, Merfolk Trister, Negate, Quench, River Sneak, Search for Ascanta. Oh my god, the flips? The other side of the flip has also got that 3D effect. Uh, so the thing about Negate is that, yeah, it's another one that you only get out of that bundle, which is kind of awkward. Uh, Silvergill Adept, Warkite Marauder, Divination. Uh, at this point... I said I wouldn't go through all of them, but I'm just going through all of them anyway. I just meant I wouldn't, like, stay on the card for a long time and go into detail. Um, but anyways, Divination, Sinister Sabotage, Tempest Jin, Wizard's Retort, Chemist's Insight, Sleep, Mesmerizing, Benthid, Precognitive Perception, Dream Eater, Syncopate, Mass Manipulation, Memorial to Folly, Duress, Duress, Cutter Bones, Cast Down, Doom Dissenter. Priest Doom Dissenter, why? Oh, it's one of the uh, it's one of the ones that you unlock in the tutorial. I was gonna say, who on earth is playing Doom Dissenter? Priest of Forgotten Gods, Seeker's Squire, Cry of the Carnarium, Death Bloom Thalid, Midnight Reaper, Murder, Price of Fame, Ravenous Chupacabra, Vraska's Contempt, Doom Whisperer, Vampire Sovereign, Fanatical Firebrand, Get to Lava Runner, Shock. Direfleet, Daredevil, Lava Coil. I think Firebrand is the red one. Yep, Firebrand is the red one you get. In the tutorial, Lightning Strike, Rick's Mahdi Reveler, Runaway Steamkin, Viyashino Pyromancer, Fight with Fire, Goblin Chain Whirler, Gutter Snipe, Legion Warboss, Light Up the Stage, Skewer the Critics, Wizards Lightning, Arc Light Phoenix, Experimental Frenzy, Rekindling Phoenix, Charging Monster, Sword Demanding Dragon, Siege Gang Commander, Skargan Hellkite, Bane Fire, Lanwerelfs, Lanwerelfs. Lanwerelfs is the green one you get. The Tutorial, Pelt Collector, Druid of the Cowl, Growth Chamber Guardian, Merfolk, Branch Walker, Sapperling Migration, that's a weird one, uh, Thorn Lieutenant, Wild Growth Walker, District Guide, Gift of Paradise, another weird one, I don't know why you have to spend 15 bucks and you get a Gift of Paradise as the green one, that's a little bit lame. Would have been way cooler if it was like something like Wild Growth Walker that actually sees them play. Uh, Jade Light Ranger, Thrashing Brontodon, Nullhide Ferox, Vine Mare, Biogenic Ooze. That's a very cool one. Gigantosaurus, Tendershoot Dryad, Vivian Reed, Carnage Tyrant, Galta, Azorius Guildgate, Glacial Fortress, Hollowed Fountain, Lavinia, Senate Guildmage, Deputy of Detention, Dovin, Teferi, Forsaken Sanctuary, Godless Shrine, Isolated Chapel, Orzhov Guildgate, Pitiless Pontiff, Syndicate Guildmage, Kaya, Mortify, Call to the Feast, uh, Seraph of the Scales, Tesa Karlov, Demir Guildgate, Drowned Catacomb, Watery Grave, House Guildmage, Lazav, Thought Erasure, that's going to be a big one. Uh, this is in like every deck with blue and black in it in standard. Uh, Disinformation Campaign, Atrada. Hostage Taker, Is It Guildgate, Steam Vents, Sulphur Falls, Goblin Electromancer, another big one, that's nice. Uh, I'm a really big fan of like the commons and uncommons just because they're they're cheaper styles to get and they're often cards that you play a full play set of, so 
definitely if there's a cool common wild card that makes me very happy um niv mizzet blood crypt rakdos guildgate cult guild mage fireblade artist hacker bat i realize i just skipped saying a bunch of them judith theater of horrors rakdos firewheeler rakdos the showstopper captive audience golgari guildgate overgrown tomb woodland cemetery assassin's trophy Sorm guild mage golgari fine broker frasca golgari queen Mizoni thousand eyed frasca relic seeker Gruel Guildgate, Rootbound Crag, Stomping Ground, Clan Guild Mage, Zeratog Goblin, Gruel Spellbreaker, Domri Chaos Bringer, Sunder Shaman, Nikia of the Old Ways, Ravager Worm, Boros Guildgate, Cliff Chop Retreat, Sacred Foundry, Boros Challenger, Justice Strike, Legion Guild Mage, Deafening Clarion, Tajik, Aurelia, Heroic Reinforcement, Slesnia Guildgate, Sun Petal Grove, Temple Garden, Conclave Guild Mage, Amara, Knight of Autumn, Trostani's Discordant, March of the Multitudes, Breeding Pool, Simic Guildgate, Combine Guild Mage, Growth Spiral, Merfolk, Mistbinder, Frilled Mystic, Prime Speaker, Vanifar, Zagana, Hydroid Crasis, Nicol Bolas. Oh, the backside of Nicol Bolas is not animated at all. Oh, this is an important thing to note. They just gave up on the backside of Bolas. All right. I mean, the front looks really nice. Uh, Arch of Arazka, Detection Tower, Field of Ruin, Treasure Map. Karn, and Meteor Golem. Uh, this is the uh, colorless one that you get in the um, in the tutorial. Um, so yeah, I said I wasn't going to go through them all, and then I did, so there you go. Anyways, my voice is starting to hurt. That was a lot of cards, as you can tell. Yeah, every, everything that sees a lot of play in Standard, it's got one. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow with the treasure constructed they they are adding if i haven't said it yet you get the skewer the critics for playing treasure constructed and winning at least one game and you get the chemister's insight for playing treasure constructed and winning at least five uh, which i believe it's five wins uh and two losses you're out um so yeah and that will be a free event to celebrate the update don't know why it's not up today uh, but it will be coming up tomorrow. So thank you all for watching. I hope this was at least a little bit informative and not too too much of a, of a bore. Um, but yeah, I will definitely be back tomorrow with some more Magic Arena videos where we actually play some games. I'll see you all then.